It's a little early for a beer, Brad. It's not beer, it's ginger beer. Slick. All right, cool. We going? Action. Thanks, Tommy. Hey guys, today I want to do a little, well, I guess we can call it a recipe, but it's something I like to do sometimes when I'm in a hurry. I like to call it the poor man's steak and eggs. It's real simple. There's no real steak involved, but there is some ground beef. We scramble some eggs. We make a nice little, little pocket thing. I'll show you. It's delicious. And we'll crisp up some little thin potatoes and put that in there. You can fool around. You can use pork. You can use sausage if you wanted to, like uncased sausage. This is a beef one. That's why I'm calling it steak in eggs. Let's get started. Where's the beef? Yeah. Steak and brains. That's like where Mad Cow came from when they were eating their own brains. First off, we're gonna take a couple potatoes and I'm just gonna cut them, cut them thin. If you had some leftover cooked potatoes, you can use that. These are just a fun little size, little golf ball size. I guess leave them a little smaller than that. It's more important that you have them thin because you want them to cook through. Oop. A little bit of salt, just a little bit of olive oil in here. And we're just gonna give that a little, just a little toss. Okay, real simple. And then I have a little non-stick skillet. You don't want one that's all scratched up. If your non-stick's all scratched up, get a new one, all right? Uh, yeah, it's gonna start leaching off bad things, is what they say. So if you are gonna use non-stick, take care of it. Otherwise, uh, no bueno. So we're gonna heat that up, a little medium-high heat. In the meantime, we'll prep our patty for the steak and eggs. We just got like a ground beef here. Like I said, you could use sausage, you could use pork, you can use venison, you can use whatever you want, all right? A little bit of salt in there, beef like salt, okay? And pretty much we're just making like a real thin little hamburger because we want it to cook quick. Let that hang out. When did you first make this? I think it was after some kind of event or party we had at BA and we were out drinking that night or something. And I came in and I was like, I gotta eat something. And like, I wanted something fast, but I wanted something with some substance to it. You know, I didn't just want like an apple or something. I was like, hey Gabby, there was some leftover, someone had some leftover ground beef. And I was like, oh, all I need is it. just give me a little bit. And this is where it happened. There was no potatoes involved, but I thought potatoes would be a nice little addition. Give it a little more of a complete breakfast. Let's crisp up the potatoes. You just wanna lay these all out because you want them to cook kind of quick and crisp up. Each one I wanna be in touch with the, with the pan. This is a real easy, you know, inexpensive kind of fun little recipe, but there are some steps you gotta do. You know, it's uh, like that. You don't want them, you don't want layers because they're raw potatoes, you want them to cook. While those are cooking up a little bit, I'm just gonna crack these eggs into the bowl here. For me, this is a three egg, this is a three egger. You could use two with a smaller piece. Uh, really, there's enough real estate uh, in the pan, but three seems to be, seems to work out just fine. And you know, it don't have to be a hangover thing. You know, it's just, uh, that's where it was created out of necessity. I like to use a fork, not a whisk. I'm not trying to make it this big airy thing. We're almost gonna make the foundation of cooking these eggs is almost like a French omelet in a sense, where we're gonna go thin and kind of, and then kind of, instead of folding it in on itself, we're gonna fold it in on the, on the beef. Oh, you'll see. I'm just gonna give these a little flip, all right? Yeah, nice, there we go, cooking away. You don't have to go giving them a good flip. You get a good char on one side, they'll cook through. They're, I mean, they're basically cooked through now. But the last thing you want is, you know, uh, undercooked potatoes. No, nobody likes that. So what I like to do here is on the, I like to put these over into the side, like so, okay? And then kind of cheat the center so it's gonna be the main heat. And that's where we're gonna go cook our, our piece of beef. I got this little plate here, a little sizzle plate, you can use anything. Um, we want to cook this real quick and then take it out. So have something that you can put, the, you put your beef on quickly. All right, you gotta, you gotta be ready. Everyone's ready. We're gonna go cook this little baby. All right, we want it hot, hot and fast here. Yeah, because it's thin, it's gonna cook quick. That's what we want. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna let that cook nice. We're just gonna, I mean, we're only gonna flip it, you know, once, obviously. But like we're only gonna really cook the one side, get a nice crisp on it, flip it just to kiss it, and get it off the heat. Potatoes are gonna continue to carry nice, nice. Oh yeah, you know, come on. Tommy, remind me about salad, all right, later when we're playing. Salad. This would be like, yeah, a perfect meal I would want. It's like this with a little side salad. So look, yeah, we're starting to get a nice little crust on the bottom there. I wanna get a nice crust. I'll put a little black pepper on the top. Just a little bit. All right, nice. Some people like to put pepper on the cook side that you're crisping, that's fine. Uh, sometimes I find with black pepper, you get that hard crust. It's, it's not the worst thing, but it can get a little bitter. I'm just gonna pull it off the heat, okay? Ooh, coming in with a little butter. I'm just gonna let that roll around. 
get on that, get on everything a little bit. And then we'll flip the, uh, we'll flip the little burger. That's it. While I flip, I'm just gonna put the potatoes on top, like so. Oh yeah, huh? And then right off the heat. Like that. So that's gonna be our, uh, the steak part of our poor man's steak and eggs, okay? And then we got, look, those nice little beef juices, a little bit of butter, okay? Nice, I'm gonna add just a skosh of butter more. Of butter more, of more butter. Look, a little bit of, little bit of butter, oh God. A little bit of butter, oh God. <laughs> Take two, just a little bit of butter. It's already hot, nice temp. We already got our eggs already beaten. And then look, we're gonna drop the eggs right in. Yeah, that's the stuff. Scrape all that out, all right? No big deal. And then I like to stir the inside a little bit. That's where the bulk of the liquid is. And then I like to roll it, this is really important. Roll it around the outsides. Kind of like how you would like a, like a crepe. This is gonna be our wrapper. So we wanna make a lot of real estate. Hope everyone's having fun. A little I'm bit of salt fun. in there. We got our little patty, a little poor man's potato steak and eggs. And then the next move, I'm just gonna take the, uh, the sides and we're just gonna do a little flip right onto it, okay? Little self-contained unit right there. All right, we'll let that hang out for a second and then we'll do a little flip ski. We're on low heat now. Now we're just kind of carrying over, letting everything marry. Look, them juices, come on, that's part of some of the best parts of the steak and eggs. You're gonna wanna pour that right back in there. No doubt about it. When you're going on the non-sticks, I've seen people get in there with the fish spats and the metal forks and that's how you go screwing up. I hate these things, but they, you know, every tool has a purpose and this is great for doing things in a non-stick. Yeah, look at that, huh? We'll do one little quick flip, boom. About as ugly as it gets. <laughs> but, but extremely delicious. And you cut it, we'll get a little plate, and that's it. Will we have someone try it? Yeah, absolutely. Ryan, so don't go anywhere. All right, this, is your, this is your big moment. Okay. All right, we're coming out out here. Poor man's steak and eggs. Now, this is kind of it. You can eat it just like this. I like a little dash of hot sauce on there, whatever you're into. Ideally, you know, you get yourself a little side salad. Just a simple little green salad. Oh, this Brad, next to it. Let's just remind you. Hey, Tommy, I'm out. good. <laughs> so, back on schedule here. Ideally, something that I, I mean, I would eat this for dinner. A little side salad, you know? Jesus Christ, what are you doing? I'm making a salad. What kind of, what? Oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> What the problem is, I'm just saying that's a very elaborate way to cut an onion. Well, we wanted a thin nut too, too much. We got a little zatar, a little olive oil. <laughs> oh my god. This is not how oh, I make see, a that green salad. Nice. Yeah. Mm. yeah, get in there. Mm. This does smell nice. Always season your salad, too. Yeah. A lot of people don't do that. Toss, toss. Yeah. Baby spinach, you know, wouldn't, it's not the, wouldn't have been the preferred side salad. But, you know, any port in the store. What's your preferred side salad? I don't know, Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> this one. I cut it in the nice little manageable little bites. I, I just want to taste it at this it, point. It kind of looks like an egg and cheese. It's not, well, it's no like cheese. It's kind of like a, uh, what is it supposed to be? A uh, poor man's steak and eggs with potato. With It kind of looks like a Hot Pocket, right? A Hot Pocket? Yeah, which is not a bad thing. Yeah, a little hot sauce, a little side salad. Adam doesn't do hot sauce. Well, I don't, I don't know. You're in rough shape, it's in the morning. You okay. need something that's gonna, that isn't a bowl of cereal. That's it's good. gonna get you through. I would say that the, the burger good. thing is, is really nicely overcooked. Personal we, we call it overcooked. Some cheese would be nice in there though. Or yeah. onions, I want some sauteed onions. Some nice, like, almost like sweet, like mushy onion. Mm -hmm. yeah. You could throw some greens in there, some mushrooms. Okay. You know, whatever you're into. This could be Ryan. Ryan. All right, Ryan, have a good day. <laughs> <laughs> guys, guys suck. It's an inspiration right. recipe. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Brad. For the poor man. Mm. And gal. Get a plate, would you? All right, that's it. Have some fun with it. Hope it's inspiring. Rip around. And uh, hope I don't get fired. Go and have tea. Okay, have fun. Shoot, I'm not still getting. No. And we're not trying to embarrass you. What? She's an arm wrestler. She just lacks technique, that's all. She tries to cheat where she gets the wrist curl on you. You know what I'm saying? You can't go curl on the wrist when you are. Everyone knows that. Except Ryan. There are no rules to arm wrestling. 
That's what I said. Well, that's not true at all, but that's how people get hurt, Tommy.